Okay, starting over, we are uh, doing the Sweet Bobby slide, a new trade, y'all, where we slide a 112 into a 111 to increase our theta and to reduce our notional exposure. Now, you know what notional exposure means, right? Notional exposure means if you've got one sold put that could go to zero, that's a big, humongous loss, right? If that thing were to go to zero. If you have 112, that means that you have two of those things. So that means that, that you have twice the notional exposure or notional risk than you do with a 111. So it may be nice to kind of take the 112 off and to put the 111 on. So let's record our Gregson ratios first. 1, 29, 24. And we are at, I'm excited to look and see, we are at 464, 542. 464. 542, 464, 542, ring up the Frank and Ben Roscoe or Rocco, whatever his name is. Look at us, y'all. We made $610 from the last time we were here, and we are up $5,171 on the month. Yes. So now remember, we're trying to get 2% a month. But we're not built up yet. Remember, we have this little thing over here that shows that we're only week 13 in. We still got two more weeks, and I should have 18 positions on, and I've only got like 12. I should have 16 now. So I'm. it's difficult for me to do it. I don't know. I'm not good at it. I need to put more contracts on. So maybe we'll sell three contracts this week and try to get us closer to having 17. Let's see how many we actually do have. Let's see, our spreadsheet tells you on the Realize Returns tab, it says we've got 13. See, I should have 17 positions on, and I've only got 13. Okay, so not a big deal. So let's just go ahead, and we'll do two tomorrow. We'll do two the next week, and we'll get closer to having our full book. Or I may do three this week and three next week. Hopefully, we'll get a good down day, and we'll be able to put something on. So let's go and look at our Greeks and ratios now. And here it is. So we have, oh, here it is. Got so many accounts now, it's hard to keep up with them. So we've got, uh, let's see, our Delta is 331, 381, 331, 381, 381. So see, our, our theta is still kind of low. VIX is at 13. And our buying power for all those big old thingamajiggies that we got is positions we are at. Oh, no, I just want the positions of this one. There we go. Bill, ES, and ES. There we go. So we're using 147, 117. This is what we're using for Bill, so we don't count that. So we'll just use this, 147, 100. 147, 100. So we're using 31%. Remember, we can use up to 50% as long as a couple of things are in place. Number one, the 10 monthly moving average exponential is above the 20. And as long as the price is above the 200 moving average, which it is. So let's go ahead and um, uh, glide one of these things over, slide one of these things over. So what I'd like to do is you see we've started all these things at about 120 or so. Everybody see that? And I would like to see something that has about 60 days left on it. And you can see we've got a number of these that are at about 60 days left to go, which is kind of where you want to do the sweet bobby slide, right? So here we go. We Let's just pick a naked put here. Let's pick this NP3, the 3750. So let's kind of isolate him. And what we're going to do is we're going to close him. So we will actually have our very first realized profits for the year. So we're going to close at 37.50. Let's see if we can go find him. Come here, baby. All right, we're trading this account. That's right. Positions and show by groups. So let's see if we can see, what was he again? The P, NP3? Yeah, NP3. 37.50s. Come here, baby. NP3, and I've got everything named here. So NP3, where are you at? Maybe I passed him. NP, now of all things, I can't find him. There he is, NP3, 3750s. So as you see, this thing is at 79, 80% profit. Now remember, normally, what do we do? We close that when it's a 90 or 95% winner. However, I'm going to reduce my notional exposure by closing this trade. So let's close him out. Close the position, the full amount. 
And we're going to close him out at, we're doing a debit. So we're going to try to do 305. And we are filled. Oh my gosh, I wish I had done $3. So let's close him at 305. And let's just see how much money we made on this. You ready? Auto close date. So we got out of him at 129.24. All right. And how much did we make? Did we get Applebee's money? That's what we want. Oh, my gosh. Big Daddy made. Listen to this, man. Hey, head on over to Ulta. What's that other place Lily wants to go to? And we just made $1,187.72. Now, the sweet Bobby slide then says, now, I know some of y'all are going to say, Bobby, this doesn't make sense. You're doing this. You're moving your risk from $37.50 to $43.50. That's exactly right. But we're doing that. Why? We're doing that because we want to um, basically take off some notional risk. Okay? So I'm going to move it up to the $43.50 at 59 days off. Okay, so let's do that. 59 days, the 43.50. Here we go. So let's go 43.50, 59 days out. Here we go. And you'll see that we've already got positions there at the 43.50. See? Ta-da. No, that's not it. 43, yeah, 43.50. Ta-da. So I basically just want to collect and sell one of those. Now, I'm worried about this messing up my um, my my things that I've got. So, so I almost think that I could do uh, the 4340 or so, but no, I think I'll just do like the rules say. Let's do a 4350. So let's sell a 4350. We're going to try to get the mid price of 960, and we're just going to sell one of those, okay? So this is going to give us a max profit of $480. It's going to give us theta of $19, which is really good, and a 99.5% probability of success. Look at this. Remember when we did the one one twos? Remember we tried to do them at the five percent probability being in the money. Basically, we're doing the short put now at the same place that well, let me go at the same pl place that we would have been out of the hundred twenty days. We're still doing the five delta, which is cool. So we're not actually taking additional risk. We're taking less risk than we initially did with thirty days out. To me, it sounds like a brilliant plan, and I would love to hear your thoughts if you disagree. So let's get this and sell our little put. Come on, baby. Come on, girl. Here we go. Let's make it less advantageous. Go to 960. There we go. Filled at 960. So the 4350 at 960. Isn't that what it was? 4350 at 960? So let's put that in there, 43.50 at 9.60. I just love that, that we just reduce our notional exposure by doing the sweet Bobby slide. So ES, so instead of having two puts, we got one puts. Now, what do I call this? That's a good question. I should call it slide three, right? It's the slide three because it goes with this put debit spread. So I just call it slide three. All right, and it's a put, it's naked, it's at 59 days out, and we did it on 129.24. There we go, 478.18 or thereabouts. I hadn't figured out the commissions how to do it for Tasty yet, but that's the Sweet Bobby Slide, y'all. The Sweet Bobby Slide. Hope y'all have a great week. I will see y'all tomorrow.